Welcome back to another exciting installment of Titus Tries to Make Jokes and the Church Doesn't Understand Those Jokes. <laughs> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. GCC Student Ministry Weekly Update number five. That's wrong. It's actually four. First up on our list this Sunday, that's today, is DIY Devos. This week is week number four in our study of how to read the Bible, and this week we actually talk about ancient Jewish meditation literature. That's going to be fun, I promise you. It turns out ancient readers of the Bible, just like us today, took different sections of the Bible and read them over and 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 over. Please stop. And because they read the Bible so many times, it changed the way that they read the Bible the next time they'd come back and read it again. It's going to be super interesting, so make sure you check your emails for 5 p.m. Parents, check those emails at 5 p.m. Watch the video, ask the questions, engage in the time of prayer, and let your whole family use this as an opportunity of growing closer together and closer to God. Next up on Monday, we've got Minecraft Monday, and boy, have I had a time of finding those secret rooms. We are one room down and we have two rooms to go, and I need your help. Come help me out, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. this Monday, and we'll find those secret rooms. Oh, we'll find them all right. This Wednesday, of course, is our live stream on our YouTube channel, and this week is week number seven in our series on Ecclesiastes, where we talk about quitting foolishness. Don't be a fool. Read Ecclesiastes. If you want to go ahead and get a jump on what we're talking about this week, go ahead, open up your Bibles to the book of Ecclesiastes, and read chapters 9, 10, and 11. As always, make sure you download the Slack app and get connected to our community. That's one of the most important things you can do as we go back to school, is make sure you're staying connected to the youth group community. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at GwinnettCC underscore student underscore ministry. There's all kinds of really helpful things, both spiritual and just flat out fun that are being posted on that Instagram. So make sure you follow. The thing I'm most excited to talk about today is hashtag Bible reading plan. On Slack, there are different channels that start with a hashtag and then have some kind of other thing after that hashtag. We've got hashtag announcements. We've got hashtag Minecraft Realm. We've got hashtag general conversation. We've, even, we've got hashtag questions. But hashtag Bible reading plan is different. See, we are going to be reading a book of the Bible together as a youth group. But students, I need your help. We have four different options for books that we're going to be reading over the next few seasons. And they are Mark, Galatians, Acts, and First and Second Timothy. Suffice it to say, there are four fantastic options for what we can be reading together as a youth group. So pick one and let's read. Fill out the form in the description of this video or go to hashtag Bible reading plan and make your pick so that way your voice and opinion can be heard. Links to the Bible reading plan and all the things that we talked about are of course in the description of this video and if you're here visiting physically this morning make sure you come back and give me a high five or at least an elbow and let me know how you're doing. I will see you guys next week. Bye!